Hi, this is Big Mac. So I'm gonna walk you through my reverse script that I wrote in Ruby uh, about a year ago. So uh, what you might come across during a reverse attack, uh, what you would, the steps you would perform before the attack. What what we have here is Wash is running, and we're uh, looking at some access points, and we're gonna choose which access point we want to attack, and then we would type in a couple of reverse commands, and we would go at it. Instead, I've automated this whole process, and we're going to attack uh, each open access point one at a time, or each unlocked access point. So first thing here is we're scanning with wash. Uh, with this alpha card, it's the classic H uh, model with a 9 dBi antenna. Uh, this script does support multiple alpha cards. What we have here is a list of unlocked access points. And we're going to sort through that list one at a time. My alpha card here uh, is attacking the first one in the list. And for the, the, the video purposes here, I've configured a timeout option uh, at 10 seconds. When Reaver does not respond in 10 seconds, uh, my script will kill the Reaver attack and move on to the very next access point in the list. As you see there, we've killed the thread uh, because what we've encountered is 10 failed connections in a row. I don't want Reaver to continue at this point. We're going to move on to the very next access point. So you'll see here there's a timeout. So the reaver attack did not respond in a, a good time, so we've moved on. Um, and when we reach the bottom of the, this list, uh, the alpha card will rescan with wash, finding all the unlocked access points, and perform the attack all over again. So this is something that you can start up, and then you can walk away from it. You don't have to choose each individual access point and which one you want to attack the script will control the outcome for you. So some of the things my script will look for uh, when it decides that it's a stale attack and we want to move on to something uh, different. Uh, if we fail to associate uh, AP rate limiting detected uh, 10 failed connections in a row and the timeout option that I've configured earlier so you can change that to however you feel comfortable. Um, 10 seconds is not practical. Uh, I've seen some pin attempts take uh, 15 seconds. So um, what we're hoping for here is to catch the lowest hanging fruit. Um, what you could do with something like this, again, so this is a, I am logged into a Cali Raspberry Pi, and it's got several alpha cards connected to it. Um, I have a battery pack. I could place the whole setup in a box and set it on different portions of my property line um, to cover different areas to hopefully increase signal strength on specific access points that are in that area. So let's look at some logs. The way my script will log everything you see printing from uh, uh, Reaver is logged to a raw log file with the access point, the MAC address. So if there was a success, you would see right here it's logged in a success file. And just an example of what, uh, what looks like here, I have four successful attacks. Uh, let's show you what the output would look like. We have the pen, the PSK, the SSID. So we have uh, four here to choose from now. This took about four hours, uh, depending on signal strength. Uh, what Reaver does is it starts from the most common default passwords or pins. I'm sorry. Um, starting with the most common default pins, where uh, Reaver attempts those first, and uh, you know signal strength is very important in this attack. So you can't always you know, give up on an access point. Sometimes you need to try a different antenna. Um, I have multiple antennas, uh, directional, omnidirectional, 
I got a really nice backfire dish antenna. I believe it's 15 dBi directional. It almost looks like a little mini satellite dish. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, share your comments and opinions.